Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping in for a ham shack chat. Grab a cup of coffee, take a seat, and by the end of this video, you'll know everything you need to know to make and enjoy QSOs on VARAC. IRAD Deutz 4Z1AC created VARAC. The software uses the VARA HF TNC to control the exchange of data between stations. VARA HF encodes that exchange using a process called ARQ or automatic repeat request, where each message is broken into slices or packets. Each of these packets is assigned a checksum both by the transmit and the receiving stations individually. Now that checksum is then compared and confirmed and only printed when both stations are in agreement. In short, this means that your communications will either be perfect or discarded and retried until it is perfect. Additionally, VARA HF is designed in such a way as to optimize your communications for weak signals. So even a digital signal report of minus 22 can be faithfully reproduced. For the most part, QSB signal fading, the bane of rag chewing around the world, is now a thing of the past. As always, use the comment section for questions, concerns, corrections, clarifications, or just to say, hey y'all. Questions, comments? Anybody? Jim? The first thing we're going to want to do is uh, visit a couple websites and do some downloading. The first one is this one right here, and there will be a link down in the video description. This is the VAR AC main page. Scroll down a little bit, and this is where you download. So you're going to enter your name, your call sign, and your email address, and download. They say that a quick start guide will be sent to your email address. I never got one, but that's fine because the rest of this website is more information than you could ever want to know about VAR AC. Once you click the download, you will get a download file and you can see it's zipped and I unzipped it and I just did a drag and drop across to the file that I opened up as I created this file. RAC. This is all the stuff you'll need. And this is your application. I created a shortcut. The other program that you're going to want to make sure you have, and if you're already using WinLink VAR HF, you don't need to do this because you got this program. If you do not, you'll want to download this one right here and let it go through its install routine. Again, this link is in the video description. If your rig, like my FT891, doesn't have a built-in sound card, you'll need to purchase an external sound card. Now there are many available on the market, but in my opinion, your mileage may vary, the best out there is the Signalink USB by Tigertronics. Take a look at this video for purchase and setup of the Signalink. And please take a moment to click that thumbs up icon. It's somewhere down there. And give this video a like. No one likes it when you do that. Now that we're open and running, we have some settings to do. Now there are some settings we have to make in VAR AC, VAR HF, and internally on your rig. I've got those scrolling over here. Don't worry about what you see over there because everything you need to do on your rig is listed in the video description. We're going to come up here to VAR AC. We're going to click on settings and go to my information. The important ones that you have to get, you have to get your call sign, your QTH, your name, your uh, maiden head locator, your rig, your power, and your antenna. We can save and exit that. Come back up here to settings. Go to rig control and VARA configurations. That will pop up a window where we can change everything. Push to talk configuration is right here. You want to set that on cat. Then come here to the pull down menu. Select your radio. 
Mine is the FT891 and we can test our push to talk at this point. You can see that my rig is engaged and I'm turning that off. The next one is your frequency control. So again, that's you want your cat selected and you want to pull down the menu and select your radio. Down here we want to select our virtual COM port. Mine is COM9, yours will probably be different. You set your baud rate, which you set in the menu settings on the radio, and you set your configuration for the data bits and all that. We can come over here and we could test to see that all that works by clicking this, and you'll see my radio change frequency and that verifies that I'm sending all the proper information over. Now we'll exit that. Now we need to do some work over here on VAR AHF. If you are using VAR AHF for WinLink, it's the exact same settings. So we we'll click on settings, go to our VAR settings. You want to put in your call sign. You'll note that I have a registration key selected here. You do not have to put a registration key in there. It is an extra cost, but do you do get a few more bells and whistles. Now we'll go to our sound card settings. You need to make sure that your sound card selected is your proper one. If you have a built-in sound card, you'll use the one for your built-in sound card on your rig. If you don't, then whatever you're using is a, an external sound card. In this case, my signal link over here. And that's, that's what you need to have set there. Close that. And we're ready to start working. Please share Tell me about them. this video with your friends and compatriots in the digital and FT891 world. Remember, word of mouth is the best advertising. Now I want to talk about how you can reach out First off is beacons. You send your beacons by clicking here, and that's going to announce to the world that you are here. Hello, world! So that has been sent out. Now, on everybody else who's listening on that frequency and can hear me, my beacon would have shown up up here. The other thing you can do is call CQ. You do not want to have your QSO on the calling frequency because that jams everybody up. So you've got 10 different slots that you can assign. We're going to try to do it on slot 2. And I can select my slot sniffer, which will change the frequency as long as I hold it. You see I'm now at 71035. And I'm listening and there's nobody there. At this point, I can call CQ. So you see, that's what's going out. It repeats it. And right now, it says, I am waiting on the slot and will return to the calling frequency in two minutes. Again, everybody who could hear me saw that I'm calling CQ right up here. That's what you'll see when we get to actually making a contact. And now the time has come for me to demonstrate a VAR AC QSO. It's about time. I will be showing you enough to get you on the air and start making contacts. Now, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. You just subscribed. What? No. To this channel. I do appreciate it. So I'm going to open up a new CQ. I've sent my beacon and I'm going to call CQ. That's going to pop up this window. You never want to have a QSO on your calling frequency. You said that already! So when you call CQ, you have 10 slots available. I'm going to select slot 2. I'm going to press my slot sniffer. You can see I've changed the frequency so I can listen and make sure it's not busy. And once I'm satisfied, I can call CQ. Now I'm waiting here. I'm going to wait for 60 seconds to see if somebody comes back to me. Okay, I've got an incoming connection request. WI3J. The first thing I'm going to do is exchange our signal reports. 
you can see uh, that that's what's happened here. So I've I've sent him a minus three. He sent me a minus one. And I'm going to go fast forward at this point. past done QSOs using this mode well over an hour long and never missed a print. Not one letter, not one word. And before we finish this video, I got to let you know that while I have shown you everything you need to do to get on the air with VARAC, I haven't showed you everything that's available with this program. In the near future, I'll be posting additional videos that describe these additional features. For now, I hope that you've enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed putting it together. And I hope that you'll join me as we increase our knowledge of this fantastic digital mode. 73 until the next. Hey, y'all. Thanks for dropping in for this Ham Shack chat. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out.